Now I live in Katliya Hora. I have read the translation of the whole Quran. I want to know more about Islam. Please suggest me some Islamic books names. If I read the books, I will be able to know more about Islam and Muslims much better. Sister Mayuri Paul has asked a question that she had read the translation of the Quran. She wants to understand Islam and Muslims better. So she asked me the question, which books should she read? But naturally, the translation of the Quran is the best. And read it as often as you can, even if you read 100 times, it is less. Reading the translation of the Quran is the best. One of the good translations in English that is available is by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. If you can read the revised edition, the translation of the glorious Quran by Abdullah Yusuf Ali, that's one of the good translations. The other good translation also is by Sai International, that's another good translation. After reading the translation of the Quran, the next book that I would, rec that I would like to recommend to you, it is the biography of the Prophet. The title of the book is Sealed Nectar or Rahikal Maktoum. This book is written by Sheikh Safiyur Rahman Mubarak Puri and he got an award when a competition took place in the Muslim World League, the Rapta Alam Islamia, and where many people presented the Seerah of the Prophet. This book, Alhamdulillah, got the first award. So this book is a very good book. It's mainly based on Quran and Sahih Hadith. The information is correct. It talks about the biography, the life history of the Prophet. This book I recommend to you to read next. After that, you can read the books which I have written. One of the very important books for non-Muslims to read is Most Common Questions Asked by Non-Muslims or Misconceptions About Islam. This book is available in the market. You can even go on my website, zakirnaik.com. It's available. This will give you the replies to the common questions. You can read the book on similarities between Islam and Christianity or similarities between Islam and Hinduism. It will enlighten you about the similarities about these religions. You can read my book on concept of God in major world religions. We talk about Tawheed, the oneness of God. The most important factor in Islam it is Tawheed. It is believing and worshipping only one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can read my book on Prophet Muhammad prophesied in the major world religions, in the major world religious scriptures. That's a very good book which will talk about the prophecy about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various scriptures of the world religion. Next, you can read my book on Quran and modern science. It will show you how compatible Islam is with science. You can read my book on women's action in Islam. That will give you a good knowledge about the rights that women get in Islam. And there are various other books. You need not purchase these books. You can go to my website zakirnaik.com and download the books or read it. And there are various other material on the website. So my advice to you would be that you can go to the website and go to the section, different religions are there, different topics are there. You can also watch Peace TV. You, if you are, depending on the country you are staying, you can buy a private dish. It's approximately 8 feet in size. It costs about 150 US dollars in most parts of the world. Put it on your roof and watch it absolutely free. Or you can download the app from the App Store if you have an Apple phone, iPhone, or from the Google Play Store if you have an Android, Samsung, etc. This is an app, download it absolutely free, and you can see all the four satellite channels of Peace TV Peace TV English, Peace TV Urdu, Peace TV Bangla, and Peace TV Chinese. This will give you a lot of information about Islam. And inshallah, we'll get you closer to Islam. And you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He give you guidance and may He give you hidayah to follow the right deen, to choose the right religion and implement on it.